Let's move on to this uh, identity survey that we revealed here last week on Sky News. Quite an extraordinary thing where on-air presenters at the ABC were asked to get involved in uh, an online survey and tell their own organisation uh, what their gender identity was, what their sexual preference was, so that the ABC could uh, collect a lot of data on its diversity. Antoinette, you head up an organisation on the media diversity. Is this acceptable to ask people this sort of yeah. private information? Well, I think it's important to, to say at the outset, this is an opt-in survey. So if you don't want to do the survey, you don't have to. I don't think there's anything wrong with asking your staff um, those kind of demographic details. If it your offends sexuality? you, if it offends you, don't answer it. And well, you, then, it's, then well you're your right, it's well within your right not why to answer asking, it. Your I think they, why are they to, asking? They have I been, mean, they have been criticised. What has it got to do with being a journalist or employee, uh, uh, what, what you do essentially in your spare time? Uh, why, AB... why is that a factor that an employer has any right to even ask the well, question? Well, when we say that... It's, a, it's a really... It's crossing the line, okay. this one, I tell you. Well, when you start let, asking let, people let... about their sexuality, that is crossing the line. You don't have to answer if you don't want to, but the ABC is continually criticised for not representing the Australian population, and rightly so. No, they didn't criticized... ask about any of that. They didn't no, ask about any of that. They, they didn't ask views. about their green no, left views. No, they don't but... care that they're all the same politically. They're just but... going for this uh, identity politics can stuff. I, can, can I speak can I... some... Can I just say, as the only person, to my knowledge, on this panel who actually employs people and has done for the last 17 years, what Nick is saying is absolutely true. If I asked my staff, oh, look, here's a, here's a survey that I wanted to do, guys. You don't have to answer it, um, but it's a really personal nature... I can tell you what would happen right now and it would not be good. The second thing about it is as an employer, I look for the most skilled people. I look okay. for the most experienced people. I don't care what their politics are. I don't care what their sexuality is. I don't care about those personal things. I care about their capacity to do their job, the content of their character. I don't care whether they were born in Broome, Bangladesh or... Bun you know, well, I, 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 I have to care. I have to disagree here because it isn't always it isn't always a meritocracy. How many have you it, it isn't a meritocracy necessarily in the media. Often it is a, a path, a, a informal pathways to getting this those jobs. This is not about recruitment. This is no, about asking the people the you already employ years. what their sexuality is. But you if don't have to answer. News, Let me. Can, can, if can, news can, I, can news I? Can I answer? If I think you've had a go. If News Corp surveyed staff across Australia and asked them what their sexual preference was, there would be outrage in this country, and rightfully so. Yeah. But 100%. Okay, I, be 100%. I believe that we need a more diverse and representative media so we are more connected to our population. That's so we fine. No one just got, what has that got they to do with sexuality? To, they are trying to measure. They what, are trying why is to that measure. now a legitimate, a legitimate minority group that needs protecting? Are you telling me that the ABC would not employ somebody because they're gay? No, no. Absolutely, it's not contrary. a factor. They, would, they wouldn't, they wouldn't the ask contrary. the question. Why, would they, why is it a matter What business do they have to know the sexuality of if, if, their staff? There's possibly no greater scrutiny of any organisation in terms of their makeup than the, than the ABC. Uh, arguably, they might want to point to data they exactly. have. Exactly. Well, yeah, point to go. proof. Well, but, 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 well, hang on. Uh, uh, Tanvir deals in these issues all the time, and you have some experience of identity politics and the way it plays oh, look, out. I don't agree with does it. I'm trying to pay employer, devil's Does no, any no, employer have the no. right to ask an employee absolutely not. their sexual preference? Well, I employ people too, uh, Gemma, certainly not as many as you have, do. Solid, and solidarity. And there's no way, there's no way I would... There's no way I would any, I mean, is it, is it even legal? I don't know. I mean, well, I mean, if, you were, if you were interviewing, if you were interviewing them for a job, it would be illegal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, but uh, I, I, just, I just think well, it's... Well, let's, let's get some real diversity. Let's get the ABC to ask a question. Do you, did you vote Labor or did you vote a Liberal at the last election or Green or, you know, then they can maybe balance up the, the debate a bit that way. That, to me, would be a better thing. But look, the whole point about this is, and, and I think Gemma made the point, you just want the best person for the job. When Qantas exactly now, right. when Qantas is employing pilots based on their gender and other minority factors, I the, get scared. But I just on, want the best pilot on, to fly the plane. But based on friend. the fact that there are so few culturally diverse journos in media, are, are, are we arguing? Are you suggesting? What constitutes culturally diverse? Culturally, well, linguistically, well, culturally well, linguistically diverse. So either, either being so born I, overseas. Chief of Why does that? Or have chief of staff in a well, commercial course, network for a living matter. Race doesn't matter. Race doesn't matter. Thing. We looked for the Having best people for the job. Why is the why they so? But let's 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 put race aside but for that's a part moment. Of the because, in the well, because we all know that that, that, yeah. that shouldn't mm -hmm. matter. 
But what right have they got to ask people their sexuality? Are they then going to decide that they, what, they don't have enough gays or they need to employ more gays or they've got too many gays and they've got to lighten... I mean, it's just outrageous that they should ask people this and put pressure on them because you say you don't have to answer. Well, they'll know who they've put I mean, did they give a reason? To. Did they give a reason for... I, mean, I haven't I have, seen the survey. Has their, has have their you management got a copy of said, the survey? I haven't seen the survey. The I've, seen, I've, I've, seen, I've seen the email. So I'm sure out to everybody. Well, the, 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 ABC's diversity the, the, new, no. the ABC's New Diversity and Inclusion policy was uploaded to its mm. website about a month ago, so I'm sure there's some explanation as to why they're doing it. But I haven't... If you, if you I don't up, know the uh, reason. This organisation for media diversity... Of cultural perhaps diversity. Perhaps they should, cultural perhaps they should have spoken to you about it. Our remit, most specifically, is cultural diversity. Well, they cover that as well. They cover uh, ethnicity as well. Yeah, well, we, we, we haven't spoken well, to I them think it's on, outrageous. on that, on that I, survey. Yeah. But I, I absolutely believe that... There, it isn't necessarily the best person for the job. You walk off the street, for example, in Ultimo, you come out of Chinatown, so many Asians and Indians and other nationalities, you walk into the ABC and there are no people of colour, almost no people of colour in that building. Are you telling me... Let alone colour. Are you there's telling me... This is an... There's a, real, there's, a real, there's a real age gap here. Because I was brought up to, 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 to think that to, to be told that colour doesn't matter, you shouldn't take any matter. notice of this. No, when you are the... When you, you, when you all are these the things that you... It's part of the ABC channel. And now they're making it a bit issue. It's, it's an issue whether you're whether you're. We're talking. Involved. We're just talking about with the election. First we are car. talking about. We are talking about politicians, the media being out of touch with exactly. the Australian population. Exactly. When your media, when your own that's workforce that's nothing, doesn't that's reflect. That's nothing to do with your ethnic background. It's everything to do with your life oh, experience and where you've and been. And your and what life you've experience done. would be very different to mine as a daughter of refugees. Your life experience would be very, your story ideas would be very different to mine. Your work I don't. I just don't accept that class. Classification at all? I do not. I mean, and yours is valid. Sure, sure you do have a bit a different background. Absolutely, whatever, have a but, different view. And, and I have a different background. I've got a different background to Chris. But but you judge people according to what they add to your company, to your organisation, what That's they right. can bring professionally. You don't judge people by these. Completely just, hang, just hang on a second. Just hang on a second. Tanvir, uh, look. The reality is there are still industries where the makeup may politics are the same. I mean, you know, regularly uh, there'll be people of ethnicity or... But not everyone's there being picked on merit. <laughs> I can tell you sure of that exactly one. Exactly So that. there are certain... The, the reality is there will be certain groups, especially media and politics, which there'll be greater pressure to reflect the wider population. A taxpayer-funded so media organisation. Uh, certainly media. Well, actually, media media, media is one second. of the most privileged groups yeah. in the sense that it's primarily educated professionals and often people from wealth. Uh, now, many of those will be privileged people of ethnic backgrounds. But um, I don't think it's unreasonable that they monitor that, especially if there's a, a clear evidence that they're failing to attract certain groups. And hang, on a second, and hang on a second. 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 From the I will, I including will, conservatives. I, I will get a say here at some stage, yeah. given it's my show. And there are two <laughs> points here. One is. Um, one is this is a separate argument in many respects. You can have that argument about yeah. uh, how you get to diversity yeah, in a sure. workplace and whether you need to have what they, you know, positive discrimination and all that. But that, that's another argument to the idea that you would survey it and especially ask people mm. something that is not outwardly obvious. I mean, if someone is from a different uh, ethnic background or they speak another language, it's likely to be more widely known, obviously, than their sexuality. And the idea that you, we've gotten so far down this identity pol politics nonsense that you would ask people uh, their sexuality is outrageous. And I guarantee you, flip it the other way around. I know you watching at home would know, understand this innately. If news corporations sent this email out to their staff yes. and asked them to privately supply this information, the ABC and The Guardian and Channel 10 and the Sydney Morning Herald would be outraged about it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm, I mean, I'm not as interested the in the I survey as I am broadly having more diversity in the media. People, whether you like the survey or not, whether you do the survey or not, is not the issue. For me, I think it's important that our media is more reflective and more connected to the Australian population. It matters on a political level. It matters well, on a then, representation then, then level. Then you should it be matters. campaigning do, for, do, uh, for <laughs> ideological diversity at the ABC. It's an outrage. But, but they you, spend a billion dollars employing a couple but of I thousand think, people I think in once you get, I think once and they have no and ideological I, diversity. diversity Diversity of thought, diversity of thought, diversity of background, diversity of appearance, all of those matter. There's no point just having brown people who think the same as everybody else in the building. Well said. Uh, Gemma, I heard you trying to jump in. 
I'm, I'm losing the will to live, Chris. Let's move on. If it's your show, <laughs> just crack the whip. <laughs> Look, we don't want you losing the will to live. What we're going to do oh, is we'll just, have a... It's just the money. You know what I actually... I, can I leave it with this? I'm going to drop a bomb and then let you carry it on. Do you know what I think the problem is? I think the problem more broadly, and I'm not just talking about the ABC survey, but I'm talking more broadly, is the monetization of this concept called diversity. The monetization oh. of it, which has seen it creep into boardrooms, it's yeah. crept into every place you can even think of. And quite right, diversity of thought is the only kind of diversity that matters. The colour of our skin, like we discussed the other week, you could look at me and think I'm a whitish woman in her mid-40s. It doesn't tell you a thing about me. It doesn't tell mm. you a thing about my background, the life I've led, the challenges I've overcome. And this goes the same for every other person who has a mixed race. Ba and I do have a mixed race background. Big deal. It doesn't say that I'm capable or not capable. It doesn't say what I think or what I shouldn't think or whether I offer a truly diverse perspective to the organisations that I serve. So this whole concept of diversity, in my view, pardon the expression, Chris, has been bastardised because it's been monetized. And by monetized, I would add that there is there are countless there's countless research. There's so much data to back that organisations that are more diverse are more profitable. They connect. So if you want to talk about money, let's talk about it being more profitable because you reflect your audience and your, your staff are more likely to be uh, more innovative, uh, different thinkers, different work ethic. And I mean, I'm happy to provide that data for you after the program. So and let's uh, talk anyway, about money. Diverse um, organisations make more money.